Deputy White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders now reinforcing President Trump's call for an investigation into former President Obama and his administration. So where does it go now? House Intelligence Committee member Trey Gowdy is with me. He says it's already happening. Sir, good morning to you. So, yes, our, sir. so our viewers know you met with the FBI director last week, correct? Yes, sir. Thursday, House Intel behind closed doors for several hours, and he stayed later than he was uh, designed to stay to answer more of our questions. Wow. How much of that can you share with us and our audience now, then? Exactly what I shared, that he came, that he answered our questions, and that he stayed a good long while. But so there there's a reason no we do it behind closed yeah, doors. I get it. There is no knowledge of what the president tweeted on Saturday morning about uh, the Obama team surveilling Trump Tower. First I heard it was Saturday morning. Mm. And what did you think when you heard that, sir? Bill, it's really hard to cross-examine tweets. Um, I need witnesses. I need documents. There are only two ways uh, U.S. citizens' electronic communications can be intercepted. One's Title III, which is a criminal inquiry. The other is FISA, which is an intelligence inquiry. There is no other way for it lawfully to be done. The good news about both of those, Bill, is there's a paper trail. There's an application, there are warrants, all of which can be reviewed. And right now, the executive branch is controlled not by the Obama administration, but by the Trump administration. So whatever information is out there, and there would be a paper trail, is now controlled by the executive branch run by Mr. Trump. Uh, we've got a uh, reaction on all this. Adam Schiff, first up, a Democrat on that committee. You know, you work with him well. Uh, he called the accusation on Sunday destructive. Uh, the other word he used was baseless. What does he know? Uh, he doesn't know any more than I know. And I'm sure Adam used to be a federal prosecutor. I'm sure what he meant to say was we need to interview all of the witnesses. We need to access all of the documents. And we're going to wait to make any conclusions until we have done both of those things. I'm sure that's what he meant to say. Yeah, he did not say that, as you know. No, he did not say that. Bob Woodward said this on Fox News Sunday about the House's ability to investigate. Watch. Congress also is not very well equipped to do this. They've had some flops in recent investigations. So the quality of information, of evidence, we're liable to get is going to be weak. I, I have to recall Watergate went on for two years and two months to get some sort of closure and clarity. Well, we're not going that far, but what do you think about his comment about the amount of information, the quality of evidence, et cetera? I think Congress is much better equipped to do investigations than journalists are. We can't rely on anonymous sources. We can't rely on leaked information, classified information, which in and of itself is a crime. So with all due respect to the reporters, I can't cross-examine anonymous sources. You can't even directly examine them it's a lot easier to write a news piece than it is to conduct an investigation. What Congress needs is access to the witnesses, access to the documents, and to understand we don't run parallel criminal investigations. We have a job to do, but it is not to investigate crime. Uh, have you seen evidence that the Obama team did surveillance at Trump Tower? No, sir. Have you seen evidence that the Trump team colluded with the Russians during the election last year? No, sir. And reports to the contrary um, have been described as demonstrably false to me by people who would know. Mm. Jason Chaffetz, your colleague, said last hour the Obama team is notorious for this, suggesting notorious for spying. Um, what can you add to that? Uh, nothing. Um, I, I, I don't view it as the Obama team. I don't think the FBI is the Obama team, and I don't think the men and women who are career prosecutors at DOJ belong to any team other than a blindfolded woman holding a set of scales. We have certain tools that this country needs to keep us safe. And it is great and wise and prudent and legal for those tools to be used lawfully and appropriately. If they're not used lawfully and appropriately, there is a paper trail, and we will be able to find it out. The Obama team is no longer in charge. So any information that the current Department of Justice has that suggests the previous Department of Justice acted inappropriately, they are welcome to release it. Sir, thank you for your time. Back home in Greenville, South Carolina. Yes, sir. More to come. Thank Trey you. Gowdy, thank you.